Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving deep into the world of automation with Ansible AWX. If you have ever found yourself managing a growing number of servers, struggling to keep your Ansible playbooks organized and easily executable, then this video is for you. We will explore how Ansible AWX can transform your automation workflows, providing a powerful web-based interface to manage your Ansible projects, inventories, and credentials. And most importantly, run your playbooks with ease. Ansible AWX is the upstream project for Red Hat Ansible Automation Platform. It brings enterprise-grade automation capabilities right to your fingertips. Before we jump into AWX, let's take a quick look at the Ansible project we will be working with today. I have a GitHub public repository named Linux Automation, which contains a collection of Ansible playbooks designed for common Linux server automation tasks. This repository is structured to include everything necessary for our demonstration, including ansible.cfz. This is the configuration file which defines the global settings for our Ansible runs. Inventory.ini, our inventory file listing the target host where our playbooks will be executed. Various playbooks like main underscore playbook.yml, node exporter, NTP playbook, play packages playbook, system config, user and upgrade playbooks. These ML files contains the actual automation logic defining the tasks to be performed on our Linux servers. For instance, mean underscore playbook.yml is a comprehensive playbook that handles user creation, package installation, NTP configuration, hostname setup, time zone settings, and even the installation of Prometheus node exporter, which is vital for monitoring. Having our playbooks in a Git repository is the best practice. It allows for version control, collaboration, and easy integration with the automation platforms like AWS. AWS can directly pull our playbooks from this repository, ensuring we are always running the latest version of our automation code. I am assuming Ansible AWS is already installed. In my case, Ansible AWS is installed on Kubernetes cluster. I have a managed host. One is RHL, another one is Ubuntu. These are up and running and connected to the network. Move to the core of our demonstration, configuring Ansible AWX to work with our GitHub repository. Run our playbooks. This involves few key steps. First step is to create a new project in AWX. The project in AWX defines where your Ansible playbooks are stored. Since our playbooks are stored in Git repository, we'll configure AWX to pull them directly from the GitHub. Next, we need to define our inventory. An inventory in AWX represents the host that Ansible will manage. Instead of manually adding the host, we will configure AWX to read our inventory.ini file directly from our GitHub project. In the third step, we will create the credentials. Credentials are vital for AWX to authenticate with your managed machines or managed host. Credentials are of multiple type. It could be a machine for SSH connections to target host. Source control for accessing the private GitHub repository. Vault, for decrypting Ansible Vault encrypted content. Cloud provider, for various cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, and GCP, etc. In fourth step, we will create a job template. Job templates are the core of running automation in AWX. They combine a project, inventory, and credentials with specific playbook to define an automation job. The job template offers multiple features like limit, it can restrict the execution to a specific host or groups. Tags run only specific tasks with matching tags. Skip tags means it will skip the task with matching tags. Scheduling set up a recurring job execution. In step five, we will run our playbook via job template. All right, let's see these steps in action. Log into your AWX GUI. Use the username as admin and the password. Click on login. It will take us to the AWX dashboard. Let's create a new project. From the left hand navigation menu, we have projects option under the resources. So select the projects here. Click on add in order to create a new project. Let's give a name of your project. Linux automation. Select the organization that you would like to associate with this project. So I'm using the default organization. Let's choose the default one. Source control type. Choose Git here as we are using GitHub public repository. 
in source control URL, we need to specify the URL of our GitHub repository. This is the URL of my GitHub repository. Just copy this URL, paste it here. Under source control branch tag and commit, you can specify a branch name like main or other, any other branch tag or commit hash retrieve. For simplicity, we will be using a branch with the name dev hyphen automation. Just copy this branch name here and paste it under the source control branch. Scroll down. Select the option update revision on launch. This will ensure that AWX always pulls the latest version of your playbox before running a job. Click on save. After saving, AWX automatically perform an initial sync with your GitHub repository, pulling down all the playbooks and related files. All right, this successful tick mark confirms that sync has been completed successfully. AWX instance is able to clone the uh, Linux automation repository using this dev hyphen automation branch. Next, we will create an inventory. Again, from the left hand navigation menu tab, we have inventory under the resources. So select the inventories here, click add, select add inventory. Give the name of your inventory. Let's say Linux servers. Organization name is default. Click on save. This will take us to this page. Select sources here. Click on add. Give the name of your source. In my case, source is GitHub repo. And source type would be sourced from a project. Select the project Linux automation here. In inventory file, you will able to see the inventory.ini. This inventory.ini file is coming from my GitHub public repository. So select inventory.ini, scroll down, click on update on launch under the update options. This ensures that inventory is always up to date before a job runs. Scroll down, click on save. AWX will now sync your inventory from the specified file in your GitHub repository. This ensures that any changes to your GitHub inventory.ni file in Git are automatically reflected in AWX. If you click on inventory, you will see the option success. It means it has been synced successfully. Next, create the credentials. Under the resources, we have credentials options as well. Just select that one, click on add. Give the name of your credentials. Let's say Linux SSH server key. Credentials type would be machine here. Choose machine. Specify the username. I will be using Linux tech key as a user. Authenticate to the manage host or the target host. I have already generated the public and private key for this Linux Techie user on my control plane. Let me go there. If I do ls, keys are already generated. Let me get the content of this private key. Copy it. Paste it here. Scroll down under privilege acceleration method, choose sudo privilege acceleration username root, click on save. Coming back to my control plane, we need to also make sure that public key of this Linux tech key users is shared with the manage host. So for that, what you can do is you can run ssh hyphen copy id. So this is my manage host IP address. Let me copy the public key to the second manage host. Output confirms that it has been copied successfully. Actually, I have already copied the public key of this Linux tech key user to the manage host 22 and 23. That's why we are getting this output. It is already installed. Now moving back to the AWX GUI, 
In the next step, we will create a job template. Select the template option here. Click on add, choose add a job template. Specify the name of your job template. So in my case, it is Linux server setup. Job type would be run. Select the inventory, Linux servers. Project, Linux automation. Playbook, which playbook I would like to execute using this job template. So let's say I would like to execute packages underscore playbook dot yaml file. Which credentials will be associated to this job template for running this playbook? Select the credentials Linux SSS server key we have just created in the previous step. Just click select. Scroll down. Under the options, select privilege accelerations. Click on save. Now, in order to trigger, choose launch. It will start executing this playbook on the manage host, which is mentioned in inventory.ini file. You will see the status has turned to running. We will see the output of the playbook on our screen, something like this. Once the playbook has been executed successfully, we'll see this tick mark green successful. This means playbook has been executed successfully. Let's say I want to execute another playbook using this job template. What I can do, I can go back to the template, select the template Linux server setup, click on edit here. Let's say I want to execute main playbook.yaml file. Main playbook.yaml file will execute multiple tasks like installing node exporter, installing all the necessary packages, installing updates, creating pseudo users, configuring NTP, set the correct time and time zones. Scroll down, click on save. You will see the status first as pending and in a second or two, it will turn into the running. Output confirms that playbook execution has been started. Different tasks are being executed on the manage host. All right. This output confirms that playbook has been executed successfully. In order to download the logs of this playbook, we have this option download output. Click on this. So this is the output of my main playbook YAML file. So this confirms that the playbook has been executed on RHL server hyphen one group and another one is Ubuntu hyphen server hyphen one. Coming back to the AWS GUI again, if you go back to the dashboard, you will see the job status. That's all from this video tutorial. We have successfully demonstrated how to integrate your Ansible playbook from GitHub repository into the Ansible AWS. Configure all the necessary components, execute your automation task with just a few clicks from your user-friendly web interface. AWS truly simplifies the management and execution of Ansible, making your automation efforts more efficient, collaborative, and auditable. Key takeaways from today's video. AWS provides a single pane of glass for your Ansible automations. Means centralized management. Version control integration. Seamlessly pull playbooks from the GitHub repository, ensuring consistency. Credentials management. Securely store and manage sensitive credentials. Job scheduling and monitoring. It schedules the jobs, track their progress, and review detailed outputs. This setup is incredibly powerful for the teams looking to scale their automations, enforce best practices, and provide self-service portal for running Ansible Playbox. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more automation content, hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. Let me know in the comments below what other Ansible or automation topics you would like us to cover. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.